Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another My Name is Miss Battle. Let's just give God glory before I open my mouth. Father God, I just lift you up right now. I lift up your name, God, for you are God Almighty. You're God by yourself. And I'm so grateful, and I'm thankful for everything that you're doing. Father God, I ask that you touch the ears and let them receive your word. Let them that have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. And so I'm feeling kind of, and I want to come to y'all because, see, I'm coming pretty regular. Because he said, come while it's daytime. Do your work while you can. That's what he mean. Because when night comes, no man can work. So, and as long as, you, as long as you're living, that's another scenario. As long as you're living, do your work. Because you can't do work when you're dead because the dead knows nothing. Anywho. So, <laughs> uh, the story, the story time. So, the teacher is in. I'm not going to talk too much because I want to read. And I'm not coming with a story of emotions or that makes our emotion bubble up. You know, a good story makes us cry. A good story makes us laugh and cry. A good story keeps our attention. See, people like, that's what he's talking about in the poor pit. And that's what, I'm, I'm using that as an example because the Bible said they like to hear things that make their ears tingle. You know, tingling ears, you know. So they don't want to hear truth because, see, truth ain't going to, truth, truth is not tingling to your ears. It ain't. It ain't no tingling to your ears. What truth is, it's a knife, it's a stabbing in your heart because the truth will set you free. The truth cuts like a knife, but the truth also binds it back up. That, that slash that the truth cut you with, the truth is going to heal you, and then it binds you back up, and that's what the truth does. And once it binds you back up and heals you, hey, you walking in truth. But you got to recognize truth because you can't repent from if you don't know what you, if you're not confessing your your shortcomings, your faults. Because we know our faults. We know our shortcomings. But we don't want to admit to them. So truth admits to wrong. That's all I got to say. Let's just go on to the story. Because this story is going to usher in the video of God characteristic of hate. Because I've been saying all the good things. Uh, love, kindness, and peace, and Long suffering and patience, but we got to we got to we got to talk about uh, the wrath of God. That that was the last video, but this one is hate. What God hates, and that's the reason why I'm right here in Proverbs. Believe what the Lord say, and let's just jump on into the Word of God. Proverbs. I'm going to chapter six, but I ain't going straight to what He hates because where I want to start is six and twelve, and this is sowing discard. So I need you to know what discard is. So in discard is rumors. Rumors because uh, we want people to jump on the bandwagon with us when we talk about people. See, so in discard, it's a difference uh, in gossiping and so in discard because gossiping is just a bunch of talking, lying, talking, because once gossip started, it... it, it it sprouts, it burns like a fire, and it spread real fast, just like the, the, the game telephone. You say this, by the time it came back, <laughs> it ain't even what you said. That's gossip. It is not truth, and God hates gossip. But discord, now, you might say, I'm not so in discord, but I'm going to tell you what you're doing when you sit amongst gossipers. Because, see, discord, you might not say nothing. You might not say a word. You just sitting there though. And you listening, you ha ha, you, you once you laughing and, and you there. And then what you're doing is the person that's gossiping is sowing discard because they're lying and everything. But discard, when you doing discard, you are also you're doing it in secret. See? Yeah. You're doing it in secret. You saw a discord because, see, you ain't talking. Here it is. Thank you, Lord. You ain't talking with the crowd. 
That see that that's not Christian like you you just gonna sit there and be quiet <laughs> amongst the crowd. But soon as you get home, you call that individual. That's someone discard. Although you didn't speak it as the gossip, the discard part is you still passing it, but you passing it in a secret, in a secret way. Now you know how people sit around, and I and that's a di I'm showing you the difference because the difference is when when people there be a bunch of people. We can be a bunch of us sitting around the table. We could be a, just a group gossiping because we we spread rumors. And discord is not in the group. That's all. I just shine a light on it. Now, I believe you got what I'm saying. So let's just start reading Proverbs 12. A naughty person, and let me say this before I read, because when he's talking about man, he's talking about mankind. I say it all the time because I don't want nobody to think he's just talking about men. But he gave wisdom a name, see? Wisdom, so when he's talking about her, he's talking about wisdom. Or either he's talking about understanding. He gives them names, so I had to say that. So, Proverbs 6 and 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a fraudward mouth. He winketh his with his eye, he speaketh with his feet, he teaches with his fingers. Fraud work is in his heart. He devises mischief continuously. He soweth discord. And therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. These six things do it the Lord hate. Yea, seven. Seven are an abundination unto the Lord. And, and abundination is detestable to the Lord. A proud look. I talk about it all the time. Pride, pride, pride. Satan had pride. Pride wants you to be ahead of everybody. Pride, wa pride wants his head. He's, pride wants his head to stick above others. While everybody is here, pride wants his head to just stick out a little bit more. <laughs> wow, I, I said wow because the reason why I say that because remember the story when 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 uh, God picked uh, Saul. And he didn't want to, he, he, as, a young, as a youngster, but they say to reckon that Saul stood out. He stood up above the other heads of, of the men, that was all the men. So, yeah, think about that. Hey, I just gave you a nugget to think about. But, yes, and you know Saul, you know how the story go. So, but if you really, but in the beginning of the story, God tell you, the story tell you how Saul stood taller than the rest of the others. And we know Saul shortcoming was, was pride. Okay. Jealousy, pride, they run together. Anywho, so that, that thought just came to my mind. So read it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Read it for yourself. Now, uh, here we go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. A proud look a lying tongue, that's, I don't have to say no more, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, that kill, that murder. And I'm going to get to this innocent, shedding innocent blood, uh, murder part, because that is murder. But I'm, I'm going to talk about that murder in a different, I mean, in another video, because we know you don't necessarily have to physically kill a person to murder a person. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You can kill them. You can kill their spirit. You can kill everything in them. You can break them down. You can kill them. A heart that devise wickedness. Wicked imaginations. A heart that devise wicked imagination. You're being cunning. You're being conniving. You're planning. You already planning, I'm going to do this. You got plan A, B, C, 
<laughs> and if that don't work, <laughs> feet that are swift and running to mischief. Ah, oh, feet that runs to mischief. We better run away from mischief is what we, what, what we should be doing. Wisdom calls for us to run from people that's in mischief. You know what mischief is. Mischief is, is uh, what, what's the good word? Because I ain't look up none of them. But what's the good word? Because I'm not saying they're simple words, but I do have to break it down for the benefit of my for the benefit of my children that's watching. Mischief. A person that's being mischief is sneaky. Sneaky. That, that's a good word. Sneaky. And so, I'll get to it. Let me finish all of them. Uh, feet that is, feet that be swift in running to mischief and to doing something. Not just being sneaky. But you being sneaky, doing something. You know how people say, oh, they just being sneaky. They there for a reason. <laughs> and there we go. There we go. They there for a reason. So <laughs> that's just the matter. That's just the fact that the matter is. They are there for a reason. And it ain't the reason that you think they there for. They have their own reasons. So they there to just scope you out, peek you out. Okay, that, that's that's mischief. That's that, that's mischief. Let's move on. A false witness that speaks lies, and he that sows discord among his brethren. Okay. Now, now that we have read them, I'm going to read them one more time, and I'm just going to go on through them. These six things do the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look a lying tongue, a hand that sheds mischief, innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imagination, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among his brethren. Sowing discord, just gossiping, my son, keep thou Father's commandment. Forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thy heart and tie them around thy neck. And when thou goest, it shall lead thee. And when thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproof of instruction of instruction or the way to life to keep thee from the evil woman from a, the flattering of the tongue of a strange woman lust not after her beauty in thy heart neither let her take thee from thy eyelids for by the by means of a horse woman, a man is brought, is bought to a piece of bread, is brought to a piece of bread, and an adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Can a man take a fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Can one go up on hot coal and his feet not be burned? So he that goeth in to his neighbor's wife, whosoever touches her shall not be innocent. Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he is found, he shall restore sevenfold, and he shall give all the substance of his house. But whosoever committed adultery with a, a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth is destroyeth his own soul. And he and his reproach shall not be wiped away. 
For jealousy is a rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will not regard any ransom. Neither will he rest content. Will his rest content. Though thou giveth many gifts. Okay. He said, you, when you cross a man, an uh, uh, angry man with his woman, you can give him all the gifts you want to. That ain't going to stop his fury. You, okay, that ain't going to stop it. He said, my son, keep my words and lie up my commandments with thee. Keep my covenant, my commandments and live. And my laws as the apple of thy eye. Bind them upon thy finger, write them upon the tablets of thy heart, Say unto wisdom, Thou art my sister, and call to understanding thy kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. For at the window of my house I look through my casement, and behold among simple ones I discern among the youth, a young man void of understanding, Passing through the streets near her corner, and he wanted, and he went the way of her house. And in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and the dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with an attire of a harlot, a substitute heart, and she's loud and stubborn. Her feet abides not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, lieth in wait at every corner. And so she caught him and kissed him, and with the impudent face said unto him, I have a peace offering with me this day. Have I paid my vows, and therefore come? I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fire, linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh and aloe and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fool of love into the morning. Let us Solicit ourselves with love. For a good man is not at home. For the good man is not at home. He is gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day of appointed. With her much fair speech, she causes him to yield. And with her flattering of her lips, she forces him, and he goes after her straightway as an ox goes to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of stock till a dart strikes through his liver as a bird hasteth to the snare and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to my words of my mouth. Let not thy heart decline of her ways. Go not astray in her path. For she has cast down many wounds. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. And her house is the wall of hell. Going down to the chambers of death. That's a foolish woman. And this is the power of women. Is, and I, I've said it where we know that is, we should know that, that women has this ability, the gift of God of persuasion. They can be persuaded easier than men. And they have the gift of persuasion to persuade men. So, and that's folly. Oh, I love Proverbs because folly is foolishness. And, and Proverbs teaches us how to live. He said, run from foolishness, from folly. And this is another thing I wanted to point out. Uh, 
Let's just, I want to point, I'm going to read this one. Uh, this is wisdom. This is four. Here, ye children, the instructions of the Father and intend to no understanding. For I give you doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender, and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. It's the principal thing. So that's the reason why when we pray, we got to pray for wisdom and understanding. Therefore, get wisdom. Seven. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor. When thou doest embrace her, she shall give to thy head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom, and I have led thee in the right path. And when thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. stumble. Take fast hold of instruction, and let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of wicked, and go not the way of the evil man. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it. Pass away, for they sleep not, except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away, unless they have caused some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more into the, perfect, into the perfect day. The way of the wicked is darkness. They know not at what they stumble because they walk in, in darkness. And when you stumble, you don't know what you, what I didn't hit, what I done stumbled over. So, that is the story for the day. Oh, yeah. That story was pretty deep. I don't know about you, but did you get it? I know I might have stumbled a few, but I got that story. It said, run after wisdom. Chase after wisdom. She will guide you. She, and okay, and check it out. Okay, okay, okay. Wisdom, that's, and, and God called wisdom and understanding her. Run after her. For she is like the mother of the mother of God, wisdom. The, you know what I'm saying? She is the glory of God because we know women is the glory of their husbands. We know that. And so, wisdom and understanding and knowledge given to the wise... That, that's what is given to the wise. And he tells us to seek it because it's like a treasure. That's where I was getting to. And I didn't want to thumb through pages about this treasure. Because it is a treasure that, that's hidden. Here it is. Let's jump on. Eight. The story ain't over yet. Do not wisdom cry and understand and put forth her voice. She said it at the top of the hills, places. By the way, in the places of the plant of the path, she cries at the gate, at the entry of the city, at the entrance of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. Remember, Deborah was sitting at the gates because they judged they they because she was wise. God chose wisdom 
to teach and, and to teach understanding. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I hope you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and to you, old men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. Wisdom. And ye fools, be ye of, under, of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth. And wickedness is an, an abundation to my lips. And all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. And there's nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understand. And the right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instructions and not, sl and not sliver. And knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. You can't compare the wisdom, y'all. The word say it. You, it's better than rubies. <laughs> wait, 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 and I acknowledge, and knowledge rather than, okay, let's go back. I got excited. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nine. This is eight and nine. They are all plain to him that understand it. And write to him, to them that find knowledge. Receive my instructions and not silver. And knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with the prudence. And find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Counsel is mine. Sound wisdom. I am am understanding. I have strength. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. That's what wisdom and knowledge do. Brings up kings and, and bring people up in high places. You know, so I just love it. I love it. I love Proverbs and I'm just going to, this is a 30 minute video. I got three more minutes. Okay, let's go to nine then. Wisdom has built her house she has hewed out seven pillars. She has killed her beast. She has mingled her wine and also furnished her table. The blood and the wine. Sacrifice, okay? Don't go no other way because this is wisdom, baby. This is wisdom talking. Fools don't understand wisdom. Folly can't get it. So if you get it, you're growing. She has set forth her maidens. She cried up on the highest places of the city. And whosoever is simple, let him turn into her. For as for him that wanted understanding, she said to him, Come, eat of my bread, drink of my wine, which, which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish and live, and go in the way of understanding, he that reproveth a scorner getteth to himself shame. And he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love you. Give instructions to a wise man, and he will yet be wiser. Teach a just man, and he will... Increase in learning. But the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied. It keeps you. It keeps your life. He said your days will be multiplied. If you just get wisdom and get understanding while you're getting wisdom. Because they go together. You know. They, they go together. You know how they say spirits go together? <laughs> but you got all the spirits of God in you. But I say that only what made me say that because, you know, they say if you lie, you'll steal. That's just how it is. Because there ain't no spirit, there ain't no spirit running by themselves. Uh-uh. If you steal, you're going to lie. Because <laughs> you got to lie about it. 
But that's just the point I'm getting to. Those two spirits go together. You find a lying person. Yeah, well, that's the truth of the matter. That's the truth of the matter. Because uh, they lie about the things they do, they say. And they lie so much, some people. And I said this once before, it just seems like people are born liars. You're not born liars. I hate to say that. I mean, <laughs> I said it but because we say it. We use it as a figure of speech. They just a born liar. But the devil is a liar. Don't receive that. Ain't nobody born a liar. Don't you know that's passed down? Oh, yeah. Let's get to this tradition now. I wanted to end that with that verse. We're going to jump right into tradition. The tradition of man versus God's tradition. Oh, yeah. Have a blessed day.